Hi everybody, it is April the 4th and um, it's a Saturday and I have just noted a couple of things online that some things that I've, I've seen going on, some trends on Facebook and things like that. Um, number one, I have been in awe of how people are trying to help each other, uplift each other. It's like, do an I spy, take a picture of something red, do an I spy, or let's do a scavenger hunt, let's find this, or, you know, or think of five songs that you love, you know, just trying to engage people. I noticed that. Second thing I noticed is a huge lack of political, which I love because I always just fling, fling, fling over that. So people are kind of, I don't know, letting a little bit of that go. A third thing that I've noticed is people kind of starting to pout, rightfully so. You know, like my niece, you know, was on and she, her anniversary is coming up. She's going to be married three years and they can't go out. They can't go to a movie. They can't go to a dinner. So they're going to do like Lego masters at home, <laughs> I guess with pizza or something. I don't know. Um, and then with Easter coming up, they usually go to Arkansas for her in-laws and spend time with them and have a little trip and they can't do that. And so it's, it's a pouty kind of time and, you know, and rightful it, it's okay to express that you're sad, upset with the circumstance. Um, and, and I think that's, that's fine, but we just have to remember, you know, what it's all for. It seems like I did have a fourth thing I was thinking of but it is gone. So let me tell you what I found in the scriptures as I'm reading through my Psalms as I am. Gosh, where am I? Psalm 66, 11. Um, and I just found this kind of apropos uh, for where we are right now a little bit. Uh, you can see if you agree with me or no. Um, Psalm 66, 11. You brought us into the net you laid a crushing burden on our backs. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Yet, I like the yet, you have brought us out to a place of abundance. And so, yeah, we're in a place where it feels like people are crushing our heads and burdens on our back. And really, we just have to stay home. For some of us, it's a financial burden as well. You know, this is heavily taxing on our um, economy, obviously, and a lot of people aren't working, but if you trust, if you believe, if you follow God, you can end up in that place of abundance. And I think he has it there for you. Um, and so that's just kind of where God has found me. I so appreciate that he's continuing to uplift me every day, uh, during this time. And I know it's probably still going to get a lot darker before it gets lighter. Um, but that's okay. Cause I have the light I do every day and I can read it. I have his word. And so that's the light that'll get me through the dark tunnel. Get the, get the, uh, people who are riding over my head off of, <laughs> I like that. Uh, not in a good way. So keep looking for God. He's there. He's the light in the dark times. Um, and he sends us so much encouragement through his word. And so find him there because it's such a good place to be. Uh, keep going. Stay safe. Stay healthy.